Good afternoon and welcome everyone to the West Gym in Burnaby, BC, where it is a monumental day for the Simon Fraser women's basketball team. They are playing their first home game here at the West Gym since February 25th, 2020, a span of 660 days. So very excited for us to see them in action here. And we want to thank you for joining us here on this live web stream, courtesy, of course, of the Simon Fraser University Athletics Department. My name is Wilson Wong, Manager of Communications and Sports Information here at SFU. We are uh, just about to get set for the opening tip-off. We are going to have introductions and the uh, national anthem here courtside. We will give you the uh, starting lineup for both Capilano and Simon Fraser, a non-conference matchup here in women's basketball at the West Gym. For Capilano, they'll be in navy blue and white. Their starters, number two, a guard forward from North Vancouver, Devin Wood. Number uh, seven, Cami Ward. And uh, before that, we'll go to the anthem. And we are back courtside here at the West Gym, ready for non-conference women's basketball action here between Simon Fraser and Capilano. The Capilano Blues are being introduced uh, right now. We're going to give you the starters uh, once again, wearing number two guard forward in her fourth year uh, from North Vancouver, Devin Wood, wearing number seven guard 5'7", uh, Cami Ward, second year from North Van. Uh, number 10, Jenna Griffin is a 5'4 guard in her first year out of Port Moody. Emma Jones is wearing number 11, a 5'10 guard in her fourth year out of Washington. And Mackenzie Smith is a 6'3 center in her fourth year from Burnaby. The starters for Simon Fraser in white with red lettering and blue and red trim. They're being introduced right now. Wearing number one will be 5'9 sophomore guard Grace Killens out of Coquitlam. Wearing number five. Freshman guard Sofia Wazotsky out of Langley. Number 10, junior guard 5'9 from North Vancouver, Georgia Swant. Number 12, a 5'11 junior guard from Surrey, Emma Kramer. And number 13, the senior forward 6'1 out of North Vancouver. Number 13, Claudia Hart. SFU is coached by Bruce Langford and assisted by Pam Danis. Tons of experience on this Simon Fraser bench for Capilano University. In his fourth year, Chris Weimer is the head coach, uh, assisted by Emma Cunningham and Curtis Allenby. SFU and Capilano about to tip off here at the West Gym. Thanks very much for joining us here. Uh, if you are watching from wherever you are indeed uh, joining us from, the referees in this game, Kevin Lay, Rolando Calapes, and Alex Grunberg, they will get us underway with the opening tip in just a few seconds here. Uh, also of note for SFU, Jessica Wazotsky, the team's leading scorer, uh, is out for this game. She will not be uh, playing. She's not dressed. So uh, 
SFU will be going with an even uh, smaller lineup than they've uh, usually had so far this season. Uh, the team is 3-6 and six coming into this game, uh, having played all of their games outside of Canada. And for Capilano, they are 5-3 and three in league play in the Pac West. Most recent game was December 7th at Douglas, a 72-57 win over the Royals. Taking the opening tip for SFU is uh, Hart, and she tips it into the backcourt. And the ball controlled by Capilano. That's uh, Griffin handing off uh, on the drive there. Pass back out. Wood. The foul line. Smith back up to the top of the circle. Ward. Griffin penetrates and back out to the foul line. Jumper off the backboard. No good from Smith. And the rebound taken by Killens. Quick outlet pass. The opening layup attempt for SFU short, and that time Hart missing, and now Cap back the other way. Jones, Ward gets a screen, jumper, long range, good for two, and Capilano opens the scoring here. It's two nothing for the Blues. Wazotsky, Sofia Wazotsky handing off, and now Hart fires away from the top of the arc, and she is good from Middle of the floor and uh, SFU ahead three to two. Cap Ward being uh, checked by Killens into the paint, loses uh, the handle on the ball and then called for a turnover. And for those of you who are watching and maybe even want to follow along on the live stats, uh, it's at athletics.sfu.ca slash sidearm stats slash WB ball. Now a foul called against Wazotsky. Turnover against Simon Fraser. Uh, for Actually, uh, if you want to follow along in terms of our coverage all year long, go to athletics.sfu.ca slash coverage and you'll get the latest links, both video, audio, and stats uh, for every one of our games that are available. Ball out of bounds. Uh, possession staying with cap. 19 to shoot on this possession. Ball inbounded to Jones. Her shot no good and the rebound finally taken by Killens. Kramer looking to go all the way back out. Killens will fire away from three. That one just to wide to her right. And the rebound taken by Wood. Ward wearing number seven for Cap. Foul line stepping back. And that shot a little bit strong. Rebound tipped out to the wing. Taken by Griffin. And her shot rattles in. That means Cap retakes the lead for three over SFU here early in the first quarter at the West Gym. Final uh, game before the exam break or Christmas break for SFU. Hart shot wide to her left. Jones being checked by Kramer. Cross center and then over to Ward. Ward gets a screen from Wood. To Wood. Shot fake. Drives baseline under and her shot just short. SFU. With the ball working around the perimeter. It's Kramer, foul, uh, foul line pass out. Wazotsky, Killens, a couple of steps back from the three point line, but uh, actually just off the mark. Quick pass for a three point attempt here from Cap, and it's good from Griffin. I believe that was actually a long two, so it will be 6 3 in favor of the Blues early here. Couple of subs coming in for SFU eventually. Wazotsky for three. That one just strong. Ward. Three point shot, long range, and a rebound taken by SFU. Wazotsky. 
to the foul line. Pass out to the sideline. Killens getting the ball from Kramer. Shot strong. And SFU struggling a bit from the field early here. Going one of seven so far. Uh, as we're nearing the halfway mark of this period. Ball entered into the post and Mackenzie Smith will draw the foul. Smith is from right here in Burnaby. Graduate of uh, Caribou Hill. Former Charger. As uh, SFU will get to sub in three players. So McKenna Gardner, Gemma Cutler, and Armand Dule all coming in for SFU. Gardner, a freshman guard, as the first foul shot is good from Smith. Dule, a freshman guard out of Surrey, and Cutler, freshman forward out of North Van. Second shot, no good, and it's Dule with the ball to the hoop, lays it in in transition. SFU upping the tempo there, and they do get the two points. They trail 7-5 here in the first quarter. Five and a half minutes to go. Smith controls the entry pass. Pass back out to Wood. Her shot short. Hits the side rim. And the rebound controlled by Jones. And then a travel call against Wood. And now Capilano will sub a couple of players in. It will be Damion and Manny Coffin. Damion, a uh, Port Coquitlam player from Riverside. Of course, that's where the brother of head coach, SFU head coach Bruce Langford coaches. Uh, Paul Langford, longtime head coach of the Riverside program. Three ball from the wing in front of the cap bench is good from Emma Kramer. And SFU back ahead, 8-7, halfway through this first quarter. Griffin hands off to Davignon. Davignon finds room in the paint. Scoop layup high off the glass. Doesn't catch the rim. And then on the rebound, a foul call made against Coffin. Swant back in for SFU. Media timeout, 4.44 to go in the first quarter. SFU 8 Capilano 7. Thank you very much for joining us here on this live stream. We thank you for uh, supporting SFU basketball and uh, we hope that uh, you will continue to do so. We can follow us on on the internet at uh, athletics.sfu.ca and we'll give you some stats here early. Uh, for Capilano, four points for uh, Jenna Griffin, two or three from the field. And then for uh, Simon Fraser, three points each from Hart and Kramer, both, of course, hitting from behind the three-point arc. SFU uh, going three of nine from the field. And Capilano, three of 11. Rebounds are eight, five in favor of Cap. And... Three assists on three field goals so far for SFU. This is uh, the last game of the of December. Before they uh, have their uh, holiday break, there is a game. The next home game for SFU is on uh, December 30th here at home. It's a conference game against St. Martin's uh, at, and then on January 1st, New Year's Day, Western Oregon will come to SFU to play a game here at the West Gym. Another GNAC game. Three point shot wide open and no mistake there from Georgia Swant. And Swant gets on the scoreboard with her first bucket of the game. 11-7 uh, for Capilano, uh, for SFU, sorry, against Capilano. Entry pass inside, ball thrown back out by Damignon. Now on the penetration, Griffin will draw the foul. And a call on SFU, looks like that Swant with the hold.
Cap having trouble getting the ball into play. They finally do, and the ball is tipped out of bounds. Ball intended for Davignon. The Blues retain possession here. Ball into play. Griffin in the corner in front of the SFU bench to the foul line. Looks to defer to Ward. Stopped on her drive. Griffin off the glass. Doesn't get the bounce. And the rebound taken by Dulé for SFU. Quickly down the floor and it's Cutler making the transition layup on the fast break. 13-7 for SFU. 3.40 to go in quarter number one here at the West Gym. Non-conference game between SFU and Capilano. First game for SFU since February of 2020. Now Dule tipping the pass and I believe a foul has been called on the play. And it will be against Cap. Davignon with the foul. Kramer will inbound. Ball into McKenna Gardner. Swan, Kramer, and now Gardner going inside and finding Cutler, who's been a uh, very important contributor off the bench for SFU so far this year. Capilano down 15 to 7. Jones to Ward. Ward trips and is called for the travel she dribbled right into a double team and could not get out of it so turnover for cap killens will come back in to replace gardner and a sub for capilano that's uh looks like that's lauren tomlinson in for ward kramer Swant, baseline jumper strong, and the rebound tipped into the hands of Jones. Jones at center. Griffin, Tomlinson. Tomlinson looking to go to her right. Pass to the wing. Griffin has the ball stripped. It's going to be Cutler. Two on one with Dulé. Cutler, Dulé. Lay-in is going to roll in for the fast break layup. And a timeout called by Capilano as SFU goes up 17-7. to 2.16 to go in the first quarter timeout here for Capilano. We're going to take a short break here at the West Gym. And we are back underway here at the West Gym in Burnaby, BC. Non-conference women's basketball action between Capilano and Simon Fraser. And Capilano in blue with the ball right now. And another turnover. And it's Dule once again to the hoop. And she's just strong off the backboard on that lay-in. But Dule, a uh, real difference maker so far in this game for SFU. Upping the tempo. Defensively getting her hands on on Capilano passes and uh, certainly has helped spark this SFU run back into the lead as they uh, trailed uh, for a good part of this first quarter, but now comfortably ahead by double digits. Coffin for Capilano runs into trouble and will 
be called for another turnover. SFU takes over seven turnovers uh, for Capilano so far in this quarter. Swant, Killens for three, and she makes no mistake on that one. So Grace Killens makes it 20 to seven for SFU. Tomlinson for Capilano. Cross to Jones, into the foul line. Top of the key, the drive, and a foul drawn by Capilano. And that is uh, Maddie Council, wearing number 15 for Capilano. Couple more subs in for Cap, and then also in for SFU. That's Sofia Wazotsky wearing number five. Spelling off Dule. So Maddie Council, first year out of Port Moody, Heritage Woods grad. She makes good on that first foul shot. Second shot from Council, no good on the year. Uh, shooting 25% from three point uh, from the foul line. On the drive, SFU into the paint and looks like that is gonna be an offensive foul called on Emma Kramer. And referee Kevin Lee calling the forearm shove. And so with that, a turnover for SFU. Score is 20 to eight for the home team here. Capilano trying to cut into this deficit. Entry pass knocked away by Killens. And then on the drive, layup is strong by Hart. Griffin for Capilano. Ball on the wing, it's Council entered into Smith. Her turnaround shot does not get the bounce off the backboard. 18 seconds to go, Killens across the Swant. Swant will set up in the half court offense for SFU. One shot likely to go and then she will just take it herself and draw the foul with four seconds left. And Cutler will come in for Emma Kramer, and Killens will be spelled off by Dule. And first shot is good. Second shot good as well, and then a turnover right at the end of the quarter for Cap. Ball entered into play, three-point shot on the way to end the quarter is good from Claudia Hart. And SFU overcomes a slow start here to take a 25 to eight lead into the first quarter break here at the West Gym. You're watching live SFU NCAA basketball here on uh, our live stream, SFU live stream here on YouTube. We're gonna take a short break and then come back to you with second uh, quarter action along with some of the stats from the first quarter. I think the reliability would be the biggest benefit of having a gondola. There are a lot of people that uh, take transit, SkyTrain, the buses, and uh, when there's snow and that cancels the bus, then I can't get up to campus unless I walk. The idea of driving up the mountain when it's like that is terrifying. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get home safely or in a timely manner. This community is growing rapidly. 
We currently have multiple new residence buildings being built. There's a lot of people that live up here or a lot of people that would like to transit up here. And so you're really talking about connecting Burnaby Mountain with the rest of the economy of the city of Burnaby. Well, I think the evidence is clear. We've got to get away from fossil fuels, be more efficient in how we do things day to day and uh, transit certainly seems to be one of those options to get people out of cars. If there was better transit up SFU, people would be more apt to come here and participate in different activities that are going around. If it were easier to get up. And we're back underway. Second quarter action has already begun here at the West Gym. SFU leading 25 to eight. And they do have the ball here. Swant foul line pass out to Wazotsky for three. No good. Offensive rebound for SFU. Georgia Swant. Wazotsky. Now Gardner all the way to the hoop, but just strong on that lay-in. Gardner gets the ball back. Wazotsky open for three. That time is good. So Gardner gets the assist, her first assist of the game. Leading scorer in the uh, first quarter is Claudia Hart with six points for SFU, five for Swant, and four for Jenna Griffin of Catalano. Cutler and Dooley also with four for SFU. Now turnover for the home side. In transition, Cutler will draw the foul. And the foul shot's good for SFU. Up 30 to eight against Capilano and the ball, the pass is intercepted by Gardner. Over to Swat. Hart going inside to a cutting Georgia Swat and she makes no mistake on that layup. Nice cut behind the defense. And a foul call here just in front of the scorer's table. Wazotsky called for the infraction. Cap will inbound. 27 on the shot clock. Pardon me, that's a new 30. Ball entered into a double team and knocked away. Swant trying to control the ball here. Cutler. Inside pass for Hart. Back up top. Three ball from Hart. No mistake there, Claudia Hart. Now nine points in this game, all from three-pointers. And now she gets the steal. Hart strong on the layup, though. It looks like that's uh, that was uh, Wood with the rebound. And a foul. Underneath an offensive foul against uh, Cap. Push off called against uh, Mackenzie Smith. And we are going to get a timeout. A 30 second timeout here. I am here to build bridges. I'm here to promote inclusion. To embrace diversity. To learn from others. I'm here to support my community. I'm here to lift people up. To engage. To listen. I am here to grow.
Back in action here at the West Gym. SFU leading 35 to 8 over uh, Capilano. SFU now getting their shooting percentage up to 12 of 24 for 50 uh, percent. Now just falling under after that last miss. Capilano two on two down the floor. And looks like that's going to be an offensive foul called against Cassandra Bryn of Capilano. Turnover for the Blues. Subs coming in. Um, looks like that's Ward back in. And Killens in for SFU. Hosts bring the ball back into play. Gardner, Dulé, Hart swung around to Swant. Now Swant gets the pass back on the cut. And that will be a foul against Capilano. Apologies for that, uh, just kind of uh, mishandled my microphone here. So we'll, we'll get reset here as SFU gets the bucket and the foul. And it's Georgia Swant getting to the hoop and putting her team up by 30 points here. Seven minutes ago before halftime. And we're going to see another break. Uh, before the foul shot, that's going to be Emma Kramer in for Swant. So my... Apologies, I believe then uh, the bucket and the foul actually going to Grace Killens. Killens makes good on the foul shot. Capilano sub back into the game, uh, Jenna Griffin. Capilano will set up in the half court again after getting that uh, team offensive rebound. Seven to shoot. And a travel call on the penetration attempt by Wood. SFU takes over. 6.35 to go in this second quarter. Hart with a rare miss from long distance there as SFU will give possession back to Capilano. Wood lot pass inside. The lay-in is good. Nice body control there by Coffin to really make that shot work with very little space. Cap down 39 to 10. Dule trying to respond, and she does from just uh, beyond the three point arc. It's 42 to 10 for SFU. And now that pass down low. Too strong. Dule. Killens. Killens. Baseline pass out to the foul line. Hart to Kramer. Across to Gardner. Three ball. No good. Rebound. Controlled by Capilano. Nice play there by Jones for the Blues. And now foul. I believe that's going to go against uh, Kramer. Wazotsky and Cutler back in for SFU. 
you're just joining us, uh, SFU down early in this uh, first quarter, and then they really kind of took control after the score was about, I think, about 7-5, and Catalano turning the ball over, and SFU getting another, forcing another turnover in this one. And as the subs come in, just going to give you the stats here in terms of uh, turnovers, 18 so far in this first half for Capilano. So real dominant performance here for the home side. Dule for three, that one uh, no good. SFU of course playing its first home game since uh, February of 2020, about 660 days since they last played a game that counted here on the court of West Gym. Of course, the men did get a chance earlier this season to compete at home. Uh, they scored two big victories at the at their very own SFU Showdown men's basketball tournament, including that nice win over UBC, 90 to 82. Uh, SFU and UBC likely will not be playing on the women's side this year, but they do get a chance to compete against some of the other uh, local schools here. And in this game, SFU ahead, 42 to 10. Capilano working the ball inside, shot short. But the offensive rebound and putback is successful for Jones. 42 to 12, SFU in the lead, and they will draw another foul. I believe that's a uh, media timeout coming here. 42 to 12, SFU ahead of Capilano. If I lose, I'll respond with respect. If I win, I'll back it up with humility. If I fail, I'll rise up with honor. It's tough for us to put it all on the line. Don't undo my hard work with poor sportsmanship. Respect. It's the name of the game. Four thirty-four left to go before halftime here in this non-conference women's basketball game between host Simon Fraser and Capilano. My name is Wilson Wong, manager of communications and sports information here at SFU, welcoming you to the West Gym. Thanks for joining us as we are in our final days before uh, Christmas and Boxing Day. Legal screen called against uh, Cutler of SFU. For all news with the women's basketball team and of course the, UBC, uh, the uh, SFU athletics program in general, uh, athletics.sfu.ca is uh, SFU comes down with the ball off that last cat miss. Kramer looks to direct a cutter. Dulé gets the ball across. Gardner, foul line pass back to Dulé. Looks to drive, goes to the hoop strong. Cutler gets the rebound, but has the ball knocked away by Davignon. Now Kramer gets the steal. Outlet pass for Wazotsky. Open for three. Instead, penetrates, finds room short. Uh, pardon me, uh, missing on that layup. Back the other way, Cap going up is Coffin, and she will draw the foul and get two shots from the line. SFU uh, in this one, 8 of 16 from beyond the three-point line. Shooting 42% from the field, but 50% from behind the arc as Coffin makes good on that first foul shot. She's 
She's a 50% free throw shooter for the year. Makes good on both. Uh, Capilano averaging 72.1 points per game in the eight contests they played in their league at the uh, Pac West, which also includes teams like Langara and Vancouver Island and Okanagan College, amongst others. SFU working against the pressure defense up the court, but they solve it pretty easily with a Grace Killens three from the wing, 45-14 for SFU. So now SFU 9 of 17 from three-point land. On the drive, the lay-in, no good there from Davignon of Capilano. Kramer, Swant, back to Kramer, wide open for three from the top of the circle, and she makes it as well. And SFU on a shooting barrage from long distance, 10 of 18 in this one so far we still have two and a half minutes to go before halftime ball worked inside but tipped away ball ending up with swant killens hart three-pointer away again and another one that drops for sfu this time for Swan and we have 11 three-pointers in the first half for SFU and they are out to a 51-14 advantage. Davignon to the hoop, initiates contact but does not get the roll on the shot. She will however go to the foul line for two attempts from the charity stripe. Foul called on Swan. SFU also doubling up on uh, Capilano in terms of field goal attempts, 36 to 18 in this one, as uh, the home side looking up, looking to establish their strong tone to this game. Offensive rebound off the miss for Capilano and the make going to Jones. It's 51-16, still in favor, of course, of the home side. Gardner. Hart back out to the wing. Hart gets the pass. Uh, pardon me, Gardner gets the pass back from Killens and the rebound taken by Cap. Blues will set up in their half court. Lob pass into Smith and her shot uh, over the rim. Killens off the mark with that three-pointer. Rebound by SFU. And the hosts will reset here. 12 to shoot. Hart. Swant. Killens for three again. That one short. And offensive board by Swant. Gardner. 16 to shoot. 50 on the game clock in this half. Killens finds Hart back to Killens for three again that one no good offensive board layup Gardner just missing the mark now a foul on that Capilano dribble into the paint 26.8 seconds to go in this first half Killens called for the foul. Score 51-16 for SFU. Now 51-17 as Griffin makes good on that foul shot. She's uh, coming into this game shooting at 53.3% from the foul line. Makes good on both. She's their leading scorer with uh, an average of just under 13 points a contest in eight league games. Ball turned over. Cap another chance to get a little bit closer on the drive. Inside the pass is good from Griffin and Smith makes the layup. Cap down 51-20. Gardner one second left. Three ball on the way and of course 
that is the perfect way to end off the first half. McKenna Gardner caps off a first half for SFU where they shot 12 of 24 from three-point land, and they lead 54 to 20 over the Capilano Blues. We're going to take a short break here, and the break is uh, 14.50 on the clock, so we're going to take a... Uh, a break here and come back with first half stats and the second half coming up third quarter here live from the west gym To build bridges. I'm here to promote inclusion. To embrace diversity. To learn from others. I'm here to support my community. I'm here to lift people up. To engage. To listen. I am here to grow. I'm here to make a difference. I'm here to create. To innovate. To do research that matters. I am here to continue asking questions. To continue learning. To expand my horizons. I am here to grow. I am here to get more than a degree. I'm here to explore. To connect. To learn. I am here to forge a new path. To push myself. To set goals and achieve them. I am here to win. I'm here to grow. CAA and its member schools offer nearly half a million college athletes a path to go pro in something other than sports. Learn more at NCAA.org. Reliability would be the biggest benefit of having a gondola. There are a lot of people that uh, take transit, SkyTrain, the buses, and uh, when there's snow and that cancels the bus, then I can't get up to campus unless I walk. The idea of driving up the mountain when it's like that is terrifying. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get home safely or in a timely manner. This community is growing rapidly. We currently have multiple new residence buildings being built. There's a lot of people that live up here, or a lot of people that would like to transit up here. And so you're really talking about connecting Burnaby Mountain with the rest of the economy of the city of Burnaby. Well, I think the evidence is clear. We've got to get away from fossil fuels, be more efficient in how we do things day to day. And uh, transit certainly seems to be one of those options to get people out of cars. If there was better transit up SFU, people would be more apt to come here and participate in different activities that are going around. If it were easier to get up to campus, I definitely think lots more people would be coming out to go watch like soccer games or football games that are up on campus. The gondola 
is more accessible to students and regular members of the public. It's quieter, it's cleaner, and it's faster.
Welcome back to the West Gym here on this Friday afternoon as we, uh, it's already dark outside, so we're heading into Friday evening, uh, one week to go before Christmas and Boxing Day, and we hope you are all staying safe here as you enjoy the final basketball game before uh, Christmas here at SFU. Home team leading 54-20 over the Capilano Blues in this non-conference women's basketball game. The home team uh, shooting the lights out uh, in terms of long distance uh, shooting. Uh, 12 of 24 in that first half from beyond the three-point line shooting uh, 50%. In fact, uh, better than they did from the field in total as SFU went 18 of 42 from the field for 43%. Uh, SFU, six of seven from the foul line as well. They uh, were out rebounded 22 18 and had 16 assists on 18 field goals compared to two for Capilano. SFU also uh, forcing 20 turnovers for Capilano and uh, had 10 steals in that first half. So some big numbers. Uh, team-wise, but individually, uh, head coach Bruce Langford has spread out the playing time, making sure everyone has uh, gotten lots of opportunities to uh, contribute on both ends, and uh, everyone in that uh, in that game saw at least eight minutes for SFU. So that uh, certainly, with such a small lineup, uh, eight players, uh, much needed for everyone to to get some playing time and to really spread out the load here uh, as they head into the break. 54-20 they lead, as we said, eight points for uh, eight minutes at least for every player. The leading scorer is Georgia Swant with 11 points and four assists, leaders in both categories in the game. Uh, she also has two steals, uh, three of four from the foul line, two of two from the three-point line, and three of four from the field. Uh, three rebounds as well. Grace Killens has four rebounds, nine points. Claudia Hart has nine points, all from three-pointers. And Emma Kramer has six, along with Cutler. And Armand Dule has seven points. So uh, the scoring has also been spread around. In fact, everyone except Cutler, who's a forward, has hit from uh, long distance. For Capilano, six points uh, for Jenna Griffin in 17 minutes of play. And Emma Jones has four points and nine rebounds uh, to lead all players in that category. Capilano, of course, uh, not hitting any shots from uh, three-point land, which is uh, in marked contrast to SFU. There are six of ten from th uh, the free throw line and se seven of 21 from the field. So uh, really not getting the same number of opportunities uh, as SFU has had in this one. Score at the end of the first was 25-8 to eight for SFU, and then, uh, of course, the home team outscoring Capilano 29-12 to 12 in the second quarter. We're back underway now uh, with Capilano in possession. And they'll start off with uh, Griffin. And they're just going to reset the clock to the right time. So on the floor for uh, Capilano, it's uh, Jones, uh, Griffin, Mackenzie Smith wearing number 12, uh, Devin Wood, and now getting the inbounds pass uh, is Griffin. Also, there is uh, Cami Ward for Capilano. On the floor for SFU, Hart, Killens, Wazotsky, as the ball is entered into the post. Then brought back out. Wood. Tend to shoot. Wood trying to go baseline. Stopped at the pass by Wazotsky. Three-pointer no good from Emma Jones. And the rebound. Loose ball on the floor. Capilano gets possession back. Griffin. Looks to go baseline. Cuts back the other way. Kick out. Ward for three. Good. And so a good start for Capilano. An offensive rebound. Uh, and now their first three-pointer of the game as they trail 54 to 23. On the floor for SFU in white, it's uh, just gonna reset here. Killens with the ball, firing away, and that one no good. Hart 
Kramer, Swant, and Wazotsky also on the floor in white for SFU. Foul line drive, nice little hook shot goes for Griffin. And for, uh, of course, uh, we've talked about a lot about the three-point shooting in this one for SFU. 12 in the first half. And that time, Swant will drive, get the basket, and go to the foul line. A chance at an old-fashioned three-point play. Uh, in terms of triples, 12 in the first half for SFU if you are following along. The NCAA era record for SFU is 18 on uh, November 22nd, 2017 against the Academy of Art. And SFU also had 17 against Northwest Nazarene on February 4th, 2016. So there have been some really high quality shooting performances from SFU uh, in the past few years, as you would expect with a program that has been uh, this successful, Swant. Going uh, inside for Hart, has the ball knocked away, and it's going to be Griffin drawing the foul. She was basically in one on three. And the foul going against Kramer. Griffin going the other way will draw another foul. So the leading scorer for Capilano uh, going, going sort of back towards what she does best. Creating opportunities for this Cap team. She is going to go to the line. First shot is good. And the second shot upcoming for Griffin. That one no good and it's Going to be SFU taking over here. Kramer, hands off to Swant. Finds Hart. Hart drives. Looked like she uh, hit the underside of the backboard, or at least the bottom of the backboard. Whatever the case, uh, Cap takes over. Griffin. Pass inside for Smith. Working her way to her right, and Smith overshoots the hoop. Offensive board and a foul called against SFU. Wazotsky with a nice drive there, making it 59-26 for SFU. Griffin looking to pass, pa pack, pass their defender. And it's going to be Kramer finding Dulé. A big block there by Capilano. Jones getting credit. Now Cutler. Tipping the pass back towards Cap, though, and it's going to be a block on the baseline drive. Swant called for the foul. That's her fourth, so she is in uh, foul trouble. Foul shot's good from Cap. Devin Wood making both 59-28. SFU still leads. Dulé with the ball going inside and a nice pass play there as Dulé finds the open player. Cutler makes the layup.
Kramer intercepts the pass for SFU. That's the 13th three-pointer of the game for SFU. Dule getting the three points on that one. And now Wazotsky coming out with the loose ball. Kramer, she fires away in that one. Strong rebound taken by Capilano. And it will be a tie-up as Griffin and Wazotsky both had hands on the ball. Griffin was first to the ball, but Wazotsky doing a good job of... Creating another opportunity on the offensive end here for SFU. Armand Dule, who provided a spark in terms of. Uh, Turn, creating turnovers and fast break layups earlier in the game. Now getting a couple of threes here for SFU. Now timeout. Media timeout here. We're halfway through the third quarter. SFU ahead 67 to 28 over cap. Dear college sports. There's light at the end of the tunnel. A return to normal and all we love about sports. You've instilled resilience, focus, and selflessness in us. We've put those lessons to work. We've found strength and unity in each other. You continue to take us places we never imagined. You bring out the best in us. The one we look for. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. We see a better world for all of us. And, and for college, college sports. sports. First foul shot coming out of the timeout is good for Capilano. Cassandra Bryn with her second, and that one good as well.
SFU has resumed its hot shooting. Now another three-pointer on the way from Wazotsky. No good. Hart, offensive rebound, and Kramer. Now Wazotsky. Dule. Gardner. Gardner. High scoop. Lay-in goes. McKenna Gardner, an impressive finish there for the rookie. Graduate of Langley Christian. She'll be uh, reunited with former teammate Lainey Shelby when Lainey joins the SFU basketball program starting next year. She's been announced as one of head coach Bruce Langford's recruits for next season. Lay in good for Catalano. Coffin makes good on that play. 79-32 SFU ahead comfortably here as we play out the end of this third quarter 206 to go before the break lay in for Hart off the glass believe that's her first uh, bucket that wasn't a th that isn't a three-pointer in this game SFU ahead 81 to 32 Inside pass, knocked away by SFU, Wazotsky across center, quickly across the heart, she was cutting towards the hoop, and over her head. Now we're going to have a timeout here. 128 to go in the third quarter. SFU had 81-32 over Capilano. I'm here to get more than a degree. I'm here to explore. To connect. To learn. I am here to forge a new path. To push myself. To set goals and achieve them. I am here to win. I am here to grow. Welcome back to the West Gym. Uh, just adjusting my volume here. Welcome back to the West Gym. SFU ahead 81-32 in this non-conference women's basketball game against Capilano. On the floor for the home team, you've got Killens, Hart, Wazotsky, Dule, and uh, Emma Kramer. And Capilano with the ball right now on the floor. We've got Cassandra Bryn, uh, Hope Hermain, Maddie Council, ball lobbed into the foul line, taken by Paramain. Maddie Council, wearing number 15, three ball, no good from Bryn. And then the other players on the floor, uh, Tomlinson, wearing number nine, as that shot is no good. Rebound tipped towards center, taken by SFU. Dule, 
Into the corner. Worked around the perimeter. Wazotsky from the wing. Good. And so SFU. 17 three-pointers. So one off from tying their NCAA era record of 18. Still, still got a quarter to go. Capilano to inbound. And nice play there by Council. Finding room uh, where there was not a lot of room. 84-34 SFU in the lead. This will tie the NCAA era record for SFU, but that three ball does not fall for Killens. And a foul on the rebound. Hart. Called for the rebound, uh, a foul on the rebound. Her first of this game. First foul shot from Council is good. Second shot does not go, and the rebound looked like. It got knocked off of Dule and her contact lens has been knocked out. So it fell to the floor, so I think she'll, she'll need a replacement. Don't think she can see quite that well right now. I think everyone's having a good laugh about it, so that's, that's good. Looks like Bruce Langford is explaining about uh, how he needs his glasses there on the sideline as uh, his team looking to play defense in this last possession. 11 to shoot, 11.3 on the game clock as we are in the last moments of the third quarter. Capilano will inbound. Smith, pull up jumper from the foul line, no good and the rebound controlled by Wazotsky. Three seconds left. Long pass knocked away into the hands of Kramer and her, pardon me, that was uh, Gardner and her three-point shot uh, off the mark. And we will go into the break with SFU leading 84 to 35. The final quarter coming up here from the West Gym. I'm here to make a difference. I'm here to create. To innovate. To do research that matters. I am here to continue asking questions. To continue learning. To expand my horizons. I am here to grow. If I lose, I'll respond with respect. If I win, I'll back it up with humility. If I fail, I'll rise up with honor. It's tough for us to put it all on the line. Don't undo my hard work with poor sportsmanship. Respect. It's the name of the game. And we're officially underway here in the fourth quarter. Non-conference women's basketball action between Simon Fraser University and Capilano University, the host team from SFU ahead here, 84 to 35. And they're on offense in this first possession of the fourth quarter. Wazotsky open for three. That one strong. She was really wide open in front of her own bench there. Back the other way. Capilano trying to take advantage of that first defensive stop. Smith backing her defender in. Her turnaround shot does not go. Rebound to Hart. Now Wazotsky up 
up the floor. Three ball good from Kramer, and that is the 18th three-pointer of this game for SFU. That ties the program's NCAA era record for most in a game. November 22nd, 2017, SFU hit 18 against the Academy of Art in a non-conference game. Gardner, Wazotsky, entered into Kramer, back out to Killens. Wazotsky, Gardner, down to the baseline for Kramer. Long two does not go Wazotsky. Going back to Gardner, in for a three-point shot from the corner. Killens does not go. Offensive rebound. Put back. Does not fall. And then now the loose ball. And looks like possession will be... Should be a Capilano uh, possession. 30-second timeout called by head coach Bruce Langford of SFU. He is assisted by Pam Danis, who is in her first season atop Burnaby Mountain, but she, of course, has coached uh, more than a few games here at the West Gym, having previously been the head coach at the University of Manitoba, and those two schools um, certainly battled each other when SFU was playing in what was then known as the CIS, now known as U Sports. Bruce Langford, of course, uh, leading Simon Fraser to five national championships as members of the CIS and, and there are the five banners up on the West Gym wall by the uh, scoreboard which currently reads 87-35 in favor of the home team here on Burnaby Mountain 8.20 to go before the end of regulation Gardner will inbound Killens over to Kramer Kramer, Hart, Hart off the backboard and she makes it 19 three-pointers in this game for SFU the most this team has scored in a game as a member of the NCAA Capilano looking for I think just some good possessions here good defensive and offensive possessions and their Bryn drives to the hoop and gets on uh, the scoreboard with another two points. 90 to 37, SFU leading. Kramer at the foul line. Out to Wazotsky. On the penetration, it's Gardner to Kramer. They can do it from the outside, but when they're looking to penetrate and scoring from the inside, they're pretty good as well. SFU ahead 92 to 37. Brin's pass knocked away. She recovers the ball, and Cap has 13 to shoot here. Council loses the ball, but I believe a foul call. That will stop the play here, and it will be against Council. About three minutes gone in this fourth quarter, SFU ahead 92 to 37. The story of the game here, of course, has been their three-point shooting. 19 in this game so far, 19 field goals from behind the line. That time a lay-in off the glass does not drop for Gardner. Bryn trying to go coast to coast. She does, converting that fast break layup. Back the other way, Gardner, pardon me, that was Killens looking to find uh, Cutler. Ball knocked away, and again, Capilano will control the ball. Bryn being checked by Wazotsky over to Tomlinson, almost carried the ball. Pardon me, that's a Janelle McComb. That, that's a six, not a five. Turnaround shot from Smith with a shot clock running down. Does not go. 
Wazotsky. Hart finds a Wazotsky cutting to the hoop and she will draw the foul. Two shots on the way for Wazotsky. And Sydney Ma will come in for Capilano. She is wearing number five. Second shot strong for SFU's number five, Wazotsky. Offensive rebound and Gardner off the mark with the three ball. Rebound rolls out of bounds and the referee Roland Calafee's calling for Capilano possession. Last off of SFU. Eighty-four, uh, pardon me, ninety-three, uh, thirty-nine. Number four for Cap Brin drives and finds Smith with the pass. Her shot though does not drop. Dule out to Killens. Gardner, Hart, Dule into the corner. Baseline runner, no good there from Killens. And Bryn looking to push the pace here. Three ball on the way from the sideline, just short from Davignon. Gardner hands off to Killens. Hart for three. That's number 20. The 20th three pointer in this one for SFU. 96 39. Claudia Hart making good on that opportunity. Bryn doing her best and getting some encouragement from her teammates will get to the foul line on that play. Sub will come into the game as we go into another timeout. SFU ahead 96-39 over Capilano. NCAA and its member schools offer nearly half a million college athletes a path to go pro in something other than sports. Learn more at NCAA.org. Coming out of the timeout, Bryn, uh, first foul shot, no good. Second shot, no good either in the rebound. Trolled by Dule, looking for the fast break layup for Cutler, and Cutler converts on that play. SFU had 98 to 39. Ball worked inside, a foul called against the SFU team. Most points in a game for SFU, uh, if you are curious. From the 1977-78 season, they scored 109 points against uh, Heidelberg. That foul called on Killens. That is her fifth and disqualifying foul. Wazotsky 
now on the floor. And that shot, no good. Largest margin of victory uh, is 58 points. That shot, no good either. Uh, November 17th, 2006 against uh, Fraser Valley. Another three ball down for SFU. So we've uh, surpassed the 100 point mark. Gardner uh, getting that last three ball. It's a 60 point margin right now for SFU, 101 to 41. That was a uh, last basket with a turnaround lay in by Capilano. Smith, and then SFU responding there in turn. 103-41 they lead. So Cutler with the last bucket. Claudia Hart getting that one. SFU ahead, 105-42. Foul call on the perimeter. It's going to be Cutler. Capilano will inbound. On the drive, it's going to be Sydney Ma. Does not go. Coffin swallows the rebounds. And then puts up the bucket for two. Dulé will draw the foul very quickly the other way. First foul shot strong. Second one good as SFU uh, is going to wrap up this victory here. Next game as the play is stopped. Last uh, game or next game, pardon me, for SFU will be December 30th against uh, St. Martin's here at the West Gym and then on January 1st, we will start off 2022 with the game against Western Oregon here at the West Gym. Both contests are uh, conference games, GNAC uh, league games. SFU 0-1 in GNAC play, having lost to Western Washington on December 4th in their league opener. Hart, nice scoop lay-in, 108-46 for SFU. And Hart getting the steal, taking the ball away from Ma. Ball finds Cutler. Cutler lays it in. Fast break. One ten forty six for SFU. Minute and a half left. Uh, Capilano missing that last shot. Dule. Hart. Wazotsky, a wide open three. Offensive rebound for Gardner, and then she will draw the foul. Turnaround shot from Hart, no good. Rebound. 
Tipped into the air. Gardner grabs it in the corner. Wazotsky. Hart. Firing away. No good. Wazotsky. Hart. Wazotsky going inside. Nice cut by Dule. Strong offensive rebound and the foul. Cutler there at the end of the rebound and will draw the foul. Timeout called by Capilano head coach Chris Weimer. 30 second timeout. Cutler makes good on the foul shot. 111 to 45. Now the second shot does not go. Rebound coming down to Jones. Quick outlet pass for Capilano. That's Council with the ball. Working against Dule. Jones. Foul line pass out. Tipped right back to her. Ma. And Ma called for the travel. 111 to 45. So it looks like uh, SFU, well, they've already broken their record for most points in a game. And now the largest margin of victory. Dule, Hart. And uh, ball knocked out of bounds. And uh, for SFU, they, they've only dressed eight players. So they definitely... Uh, Moved players in and out as much as as much as possible. Wazotsky. Cutler off of her hands. So we will uh, finish this game here with Capilano on offense as most likely. SFU. Uh, completely dominant victory except for the first few minutes of the first quarter. And Dule will hold the ball. Wazotsky, Gardner. And that will wrap up a record setting night for the SFU women's basketball program. 111 points, the most ever by an SFU team in a single game and the largest margin of victory. Previous records were 109 in nine, during the 1977-78 season against Heidelberg and the previous largest margin of victory was 58 versus Fraser Valley on November 17th, 2006. So today the margin of victory is 66 points against Capilano. Uh, Nice way for SFU to return home and finally play a home game uh, since before the pandemic uh, really took hold here in North America. First game since February 2020 and SFU, I think getting everything they wanted out of this one, everyone got to play lots and uh, they got a victory, a comfortable victory. And uh, they will go into the break on a high note here as they defeat Capilano once again by a final score of 111 to 45 and we're just going to give you a couple of final stats before we head out uh, of course these are subject to just uh, minor adjustments at the uh, at the end of the night here but uh, uh, I incredibly in this one every player on the SFU roster had at least two steals Swant, Kramer and Hart had three steals we had uh, six players in double digits and the other two had nine points. 
So Hart had 21 points on 8 of 17 shooting. 9 rebounds to lead the team. And uh, 4 assists, 3 steals. Uh, 19 points for Cutler, who only played 18 minutes. 7 rebounds. 14 each for Swant, Kramer, and Dulé. Uh, seven, 7 rebounds for Cutler. Uh, 5 for Dulé. And then... Uh, 11 points for McKenna Gardner, 6 assists to lead, uh, to be second. Dulé had 7 assists. Uh, so, apologies, we, we, had a, we have a lot, of different, uh, a lot of different players doing a lot of impressive things on the soar, score sheet. Uh, Killens and Wenzowski both had 9 points, 6 rebounds each as well, so... Uh, lots of impressive performances considering the shorthanded lineup and everyone got to play for SFU so uh, an impressive night for them and then um, for Capilano the leading uh, scores in this one Jenna Griffin with nine uh, Coffin with eight and uh, 12 rebounds for Emma Jones nine